paper and some liquid latex and I just started applying that to my throat and a little down my chest area I wanted it to be past my collarbones and at first I didn't separate my two ply toilet paper but it was a lot harder because the toilet paper kept ripping on me so I ended up splitting it later on. Then I just tore off all of the excess that I did not need and you always want to make sure that you apply another layer of liquid latex over top of the toilet paper that you already put down just to make sure that everything stays in place. about two or three layers of toilet paper just to make it thick but you don't want to make it too thick to the point where you can't cut into it because we will be doing that later. I tried to make it as smooth as possible and all of the little edges I ended up tearing away gently just because I wanted to make it look more like skin and less like toilet paper. Once it is completely dried, I just took a little utensil and gently started tugging a hole in the center. And then I used some scissors and carefully, not to cut your throat, cut it into a bigger hole for my bones. Thank you. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. I'm not even I'm, I'm filming. Oh, hi. <laughs> like, right in it. <laughs> This okay. Go. <coughs> Go. I look like shit. <laughs> Please, if you are going to recreate this look, make sure that you do not cut your throat open because I always have to be very careful and obviously I'm not a professional. So do it at your own risk, but be careful, please. What a sweetheart. Once you've cut the hole into your prosthetic, then I just cut away the excess that I did not need. To create my bones, I just took some strips of cotton and some liquid latex and placed that on my collarbones and then I also created a spinal cord. And you want to make sure that you go over the cotton again with latex and I just tore away the excess that I did not need and tried to get it as close to the prosthetic as possible. And you want to make sure that your pieces of cotton actually are thinned out. That way they don't look like cotton. They look more like bones. And always make sure to leave a little gap in between them. Because it is supposed to look as though our spinal cord is peeking through. While that was drying, I just went over the outside part of the prosthetic with some pink blush and some brown eyeshadow just to blend out the toilet paper more and to give it a more irritated effect.
Make sure that you get around the edges on the outer part of the flaps as well. He was probably saying something to annoy me here, that's why I rolled my eyes. I then just took a black eyeliner pencil and just went around the edges just to make it look deeper. I went around my bones as well. And then I just took some red body paint and I painted all the inside of my wound around the bones and this is just going to be the base for our blood. Make sure that you get the inside of the flaps as well. I guess this is what I get for filming at my boyfriend's house. <laughs> <laughs> so then I took some bloody scab and just filled the inside of the wound with that, including the flaps, and also went around the edges too. So then I took a liquid blood and I just put that over top of the bloody scab and also around the edges to cover it up more and once you're done doing that your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and become a morbid maniac and I will see you guys in my next video.